Hello guys, welcome back. This is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In the previous tutorial, we looked at how to create our flow and how to add a screen to the flow. But our requirement shows that we need to show a greeting message to the user. So let's go ahead and add a greeting screen, a greeting message on that screen that we just created. So moving back to our developer console here, we are going to go ahead and we are in that Cloudflow Designer. This is our first flow. Now, this is the only screen that we have in this flow. So we are going to go ahead and click on this pencil button that you see. And, you know, because we want to edit the screen. So we are going to go ahead and click on the edit button. Now, on this screen, let's say I want to display a greeting message here. So in the general info, you provide the info related to the screen. What is the name of the screen? The unique name for the screen? What kind of buttons you want to show on the screen? And then you have a add a field here. So what kind of fields do you want to add to this screen? So let's say the first field that I want to add is a display text means I wanted to show something to the user. I wanted to display a message to the user. So what you do is you just go ahead and drag this particular display text to the right side of the screen. So this is how your screen looks like. So right now you have a welcome screen and then you have this display text. In order to, if you do, if you want to delete this field, you can just go ahead and click on this trash icon, which is next to it. So what will it do? It will delete that particular element. And then if you want to add it back again, you can just drag this display text to the right of the screen. So here, this is what the display text is. So what kind of message do you want to display on the screen? So when you double click this, it will open the screen on the left hand side. Here it will provide you the unique name. Now what is this unique name? This unique name used by the API and the managed packages. So the name must begin with a letter and use only alpha numeric characters and underscores. You cannot have spaces here. The name cannot end with an underscore or have two consecutive underscores. So these are the rules for this unique name. So this only can, you cannot have spaces here. Okay, you can only have underscores and you cannot have a underscore at the end. And also you cannot have two consecutive underscores. So this is the rule for the unique name for this particular field here. So let's say we name this field as welcome text. So this is the name of this field, display text. This is the name here. Now, what message do you want to display? Let's say we want to display welcome to an amazing. This is the message I want to display on the screen. Help you streamline. So this is the message that I wanted to display to the user. Welcome to an amazing flow to help you streamline your business process. In the following flow, you will be able to enter in your name and then see if what you entered is what you expect to see. So once you are done, just go ahead and hit the enter button here. And uh, once you click on this right side of the screen, this message will show up here. If you wanted to, let's say, format this message, let's say you wanted to make this welcome a little bigger or you wanted to make it bold, just click on this button on the right side here, as you can see, and you can format it. So let's say if I wanted to go ahead and increase the font size. So let's say you wanted to increase it to 18. So you can go ahead and increase the size here. If you wanted to make something, let's say you wanted to make the welcome message, welcome word to bold, you can do that. If you want to change the color, you can do it as well. Uh, if you want to leave it as it is, you can just say welcome. So whatever you want to do here, you can do, you can format the text here as well. So you just click on this button and uh, it will basically will help you to format whatever message that you want to display. So if you wanted to go ahead and uh, wanted to show some bullets, you wanted to uh, align it on the right side, on the center, if you want to do it, if you want to align it on the right, uh, on the right side, middle, anything you want to do it, you can do that as well. So any formatting you want to do, you can do by clicking on this button here on the right side. So once you have written your message, let's go ahead and hit the OK button. So now this is what your screen looks like. Now let's go ahead and save our changes and uh, click OK. It's just the general warnings. So let's go ahead and hit the OK button. And then let's hit the run. 
So before that, what you saw is we just saw a we saw a flow with nothing written on it. Now what you have done is you have added a message for the user to see. And since there is only one screen, when you click on this finish button, it refreshes it back to that screen. The reason it do it because we are not actually running it. We are just testing this flow. Means we have not attached this flow to a button click or to a link or anything. We are just testing it in the Cloudflow Designer. So after you click on the finish button, basically what it does is it restarts it again to test your flow again. So here, this is what you just see the message. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and edit anything on that message, you can just go back to that screen, click on that pencil button here, and it will take you to this message. And if you wanted to go ahead and uh, shift it on the left inside everything, you can just go ahead and select it and shift it on the, click on this so you can move everything on the left side. So let's go ahead and hit the OK button and then save your changes. Once you save it, click OK and then you hit the Run button. Now this is how your message looks like. We have formatted the message and you see there is a Finish button. So what we have done so far is we have achieved our first part of our requirement. And a requirement says show an intro or a greeting screen. So we are displaying this greeting screen to the user and it says Welcome to an amazing flow to help you streamline your business process. So I think I did a spelling mistake here. So let me go back to my screen and edit the message one more time. So let's say here, welcome to. So you go ahead and click on this text. Highlight your text on the right hand side. Welcome to an amazing flow to help streamline your business process. In the following flow, you will be able to enter in your name and then see if what you entered is what you expected to see. So this is the message that I will display to the user. We are still working on the flow. We haven't finished it. So let's go ahead and hit the Save button and then click on OK. And then hit the Run. And now you can see here the message got updated. It shows Streamline here. Welcome to an amazing flow to help you streamline your business process. And then you have a finish button. Once you finish it, it will refresh the page and it will start the test again. So now this is your first screen that you have created. Now in the next tutorial, we will go ahead and create the end screen as well. It means this is your first screen and then we are going to create the end screen, the next screen as well.